And so, the Range Rider defeats the Black Rock Gang in another daring shootout. Once again, making the plains safe for all who dare brave the untamed West, no matter race nor creed, the Range Rider stands for truth and justice for all. All right. I must have been wrong. The Black Rock Gang has lured us into this cave, and then they've pushed a boulder in front of the opening, but there has to be another way out. How about right here through this window? Hey, our uh, face, it's lucky you showed up with a flashlight. There's some kind of blackout throughout the building. Yeah, that's because B.A.'s jumping the master circuit, so the uh, alarm wouldn't go off when I opened the window? Murnock, what are you wearing? I guess my secret's out. You discovered my alter ego. You're not Professor Nutty Buddy again, are you? Rex the Wonder Dog? No, 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 no. It's just that when you phoned earlier and said we were going up against some horse rustlers, well, who better to defeat them than the mysterious lawman of the plains, the range rider? You, uh, you got me there. Now, come on, Murdoch, come on. I told B.A. to turn on the juice in about 10 minutes. Any longer than that, and uh, they'll start a room check. Nighty night, Murdoch. Thunder, Thunder Girl. Oh, no, Thunder's not who I think she is. Ho, 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 girl, ho. I don't know, Murdoch. You know how B.A. feels about having Billy in his van, and uh, he's just a dog. The Range Rider would sooner face a dozen bandits without his six shooters than not have Thunder at his side. There is no man tall enough to come between me and my trusty steed. Come, girl. Hey, sucker, you better not be talking to no invisible animals. Here we go again. Come on. Hey, that's B.A. Baracus' van. Yeah, it pulled up while you were inside, so I slipped out and attached a homer to it. Good move, Sergeant. See, now, Murdoch's still in his room. I guess they still visit him on occasion. They were part of the same unit. Any sign of Smith? Couldn't see. Too dark. But I figured they'd lead us right to the good colonel. <laughs> How? You must be Chief Running Bear, who has summoned help to save them wild horses from being slaughtered by rustlers. This just keeps getting better. First you take me off Hollywood Boulevard dressed as a cop, and now the Range Rider shows up. You know the Range Rider? A full-blooded American Indian living on the open plains of Arizona where the range rider dispenses his justice. Naturally, he's heard of me. I used to catch the Saturday morning reruns when I was at UCLA. Mr. Running Bear. Daniel. Daniel. There is a federal bureau that watches over wild mustangs. Yes, but like any other branch of the government, too much to govern, too few people to do it. There are thousands of wild horses scattered throughout the United States. And every one of them is protected by law. Yes. But when someone like Bus Carter breaks the law, it's very hard to press charges. The largest landowner and his standing with the local cattlemen's association makes him a very influential man in the county. He also plays dirty. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I've had most of my wardrobe made for the year, and I don't have anything to go with one of those. So I'm, uh, I'm afraid I'll have to return this money you gave us. Face. Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell Mr. Lee I didn't have enough to cover your fee. No, you're not. <laughs> you're right. I had to meet you to convince you how important this really is. We've had it happen to us before, haven't we, Amy? I don't think it ever hurts to listen to anyone's troubles. We 
We're always working for chump change. But this time, we're trying to save a bunch of horses. But these horses have been there for as long as my people can remember. They're part of the land, part of my tribe. Surely you can appreciate the importance of one's heritage and traditions. I will raise the money eventually. Look, all I ask is that you come down and take a look. See for yourselves. If that doesn't convince you, then I understand. Well, I guess anybody who's crazy enough to take on three jeep loads of armed rustlers on horseback by himself deserves special consideration. We're still working for almost nothing again. Once again, the mysterious Range Rider sets out on another thrilling adventure with his trusty steed, Thunder, who... who will remain behind just this one time. Well, guys, shall we saddle up? Army. You are completely surrounded. Ah, no kidding. It's Colonel Decker, did you hear that? You know this guy? Everyone in Vietnam knew him. He's one of those guys that always got the job done under any circumstances, and he never lost any sleep over how he did it. Yeah, Hedible and this guy mixed it up once in the Doom Club. The Doom Club? Uh, the denying officer's open mess. Well, you didn't like the way he sugared his coffee? No, I didn't like the way he blew up Kong hospitals like it was his favorite sport. Give yourself up. Or I'll flush the whole building and everyone inside of it right in the sewer. Is he kidding? Man, it sounds like he's crazy. Decker is crazy. Look, maybe I should go out and talk to him. You want me to start blasting, Smith? Well, Hannibal? I'm thinking. Think faster, man! Uh, Decker, this is Smith. You ought to cool out. What if we had an innocent person in here? Who might that be, Amy Allen? I'd hardly call her innocent. Okay, look. No talk. You come out or we come in. And you're not gonna like it if we come in. I'm giving you two minutes. Don't you love it? No matter how smart they think they are, they always screw up somehow. Come on, let's get the weapons out of the van. Two minutes? What are we gonna do in two minutes, Hannibal? Well, you heard the man. We're going out the front door. obvious. They really have no choice. With anyone but Colonel Hannibal Smith. With him, nothing is obvious. Well, what can he do? We'll find out in about 40 seconds. Team once and for all. What about Hannibal? You'll be all right. Oh, I had to oh. You gotta be kidding. Carter's gonna be ready for us. We need a real hole card. Well, considering Decker's presence puts kind of a damper on most possible sources of supplies, I think I did rather well. Look at it as a challenge, VA. Face, I wanted an all-terrain vehicle. Well, the important thing to remember is we need something that can cover the same ground as a train. The only thing this thing gonna cover is the cone of a junkyard. Mr. Ed could teach you how to fix it, VA. Only he's not going. Well, B.A., what do you think? Oh, Hannibal. Now, how did I know you were going to say that?
was sneaking up from behind. Drop it. All right, open them up. You heard the man, open it up. Let's go, B.A. Come on, face! Let's get out of here!
tonight. If he didn't see the expression on my face. Cannibal! Cannibal! 